Well, a new century, a new, excuse me, a new decade. Will it bring about new fortunes? Either good or bad for either of these two teams. They both have a positive start to this regular season campaign in the Basketball Champions League. They're in a very competitive Group B as we see the games. All th uh, three of the four taking place today in this group with the lone game tomorrow. Group leaders Ike traveling to uh, Antwerp and Belgium for their 10th game of the season. And, uh, uh, combatants tonight, Jerusalem. And Rasta Vector but started strongly. I said it is very competitive. Rasta Vector find themselves one of uh, three teams with an identical five and four record. At the moment, they are sitting outside of the top four playoff places, but they have the identical record to the two teams ahead of them, as you can see. And a victory for Rasta Vector here today would see them tie with the same record as Jerusalem, who currently sit in second place. So a lot to play for. Here tonight, a lot to play for in these final few games of the regular season as we try to look at the movers and the shakers, see who is going to be one of those top four places. And a couple of teams have changed their rosters in anticipation. We saw one of those new signings there in the number 23, John Holland for Hapoel Jerusalem. He has come in in place of uh, Isaiah Cousins for Jerusalem in the, uh, the Christmas period break. He has played a couple of domestic games for Jerusalem and head coach uh, that did Katash. But it is an experienced Jerusalem lineup. You know, a lot of guard and wing firepower for them. Master Vector got through their own slight changes as well with their roster. They have made an additional signing. As they have brought in Justin Raffington to their lineup for the Basketball Champions League, the 28 year old 6'9 forward. He will wear the number 23 there tonight as well. So both new signings are in the 23 for Coach Pedro Calen, the Spanish play caller for this uh, German team, which has turned some heads here in the Basketball Champions League. They play an exciting brand of basketball. They're fun to watch. If you have not seen them before, they play up-tempo, they get up and down the floor, and they rely on some exceptional three-point shooting as well. Um, did not win their last home game. No, sorry, won their last home game, but uh, yet to win consecutive games at home in the Basketball Champions League, Arasta Vector. They do, however, always seem to follow through when they're leading at the half, having won all four games in which they were leading at the half in this competition. On the other side, Jerusalem, a team which last year so strong away from home this year you know, have had their road travel travel they have won just one of their last five games away from home in this competition well, here we see their lineup coming out onto the floor a highly efficient offensive team they have a uh, efficiency rating or a points per possession of 1.19 for those of you not familiar that is a very very impressive number Jerusalem team comes out. Just interesting to see Jacoba Brown in a different pair of shorts to everybody else. If he's got something different on over the top and if he's ready to go, or if that's a sign that we won't be seeing him step out onto the floor here tonight. He has been going through the warm up, so something to keep an eye on. Jacoba Brown, you know, in a key cog of that Jerusalem team. Master Vector made more three-pointers than any other team in the Basketball Champions League this season. They've shot 41% from behind the arc. It's the highest ratio in the league this season so far. As they're an up-tempo team, now great fun to watch. Master Vector. There is John Holland, adding to that excitement. That's the dome in Germany starts to get rocking. 
Teams shaking hands. As we all set to get underway here in Germany. Start of 2020 in the Barber Champions League for the regular season. Tip on the vector team there, point guard young. Those great three point shooters helping his team. Coming to this one, they won their last game against Powell Dez. Stopped a two-game losing streak, however, for them in a disappointing December month in the Basketball Champions League. They've won just uh, one of their last three games for Astavecta. Uh, that was after a strong start. On the other hand, Jerusalem, December, was positive. Two wins for them. Although they did lose a last time out, that was on the road in Ike. Obviously, a difficult place to go in Athens. He said they have had their road troubles this season in the Basketball Champions League, Jerusalem. But winning two of their last three has cemented that second place place, second place position for them in the regular season. And three officials then here tonight: Manuel Mazzoni, Martin Horozov. Uh, Alexei Davidov from Italy, Bulgaria and Russia, respectively, getting ready to take charge of the game. It's been a busy domestic time for both these two teams. Uh, Jerusalem playing five games since they last appeared in the Basketball Champions League. They've won all five of those. They really have started to find some momentum you know, in the uh, Israeli League. As we look at their starting five, and it's Black, Feldin, Ramo, Thomas, and Jacoban Brown. So the uh, different color shorts, nothing to be alarmed about for Jacoban Brown. Perhaps just his lucky charm as he will take his place in the backcourt alongside Tamir Platt. Feldin operating on that wing. And the sharpshooter is Ramo up front with Thomas. There is their head coach, Shoda Kedesh. Same job he's done combining his time with Jerusalem and the Israeli senior national team as well. Success. On the other side for Rastavek to then. So busy domestically over that Christmas break. They played three times, winning their first two, but they lost this past weekend against Bayern. We'll go with Max Deleo, Trevor Simpson, Kamari Murphy, Ish Wainwright, and Steve Astoria. No real surprises to their lineup. You can see by the fact a lot of shooting guards, a lot of forwards contained in that five. They will try and play fast, they will try and get up and down the floor, and they will use that exceptional three point shooting that they have as well. Cause some problems. And there is their head coach, Pedro Kale. He's done a, a fine job in charge of this Rasta Vector team. But too early. This, of course, is the return game after these teams faced off at the end of October. It was in uh, Jerusalem, where Havwell won convincingly 98 to 87 on that particular occasion. A strong win for the Israeli team. Game day three. And, uh, they were led by 25 points. James Feldin, six of nine for three. Jacoba Brown, 19 points, five of ten. As to really did light up the scoreboard. Well, Rasta Vector, Jervis Simpson had 26 of his own in response, but it wasn't to be enough in that losing cause. Teams. Shot it well. 17 of 38 from three for Adavecta, and then 16 of 32 for Jerusalem as well. It's the Adavecta fans ready to get underway. Jerusalem wear their red uniforms. Ready to come out onto the floor at the vector with the white uniforms, the orange trim. Welcome to the Rasta Dome then. 
is game day 10 of the Basketball Champions League. It is the first game in a few decades for both of these two teams in this competition. Gets us underway shortly here. Regular season matchup. Now, off and underway. That's possession control by the hometown team of Astavec to have it. Man-to-man -man defense from Jerusalem. His uh, far side, Simpson cutting to the ring. He's found wide open. So off, often, Jerovis Simpson is the man who gets that first play. Once more, he gets Astavec up on the scoreboard early. Over Brown, moves it on to Bramo. Bramo. Then to Feldin. Screen coming to the outside. Jacoba Brown gets the switch. Murphy trying to guard him, but he can't cut off the baseline. As Brown gets the finish. And, uh, both teams on the scoreboard early. We're tied it to a piece. Wayne Wright trying to cut to the ring. Good, strong defense from Jerusalem, but now he's going to get it in the low post. Squares up. Simpson. The triple can't get it. An easy rebound for Brown. Brown looking ahead. Bramo found it over the top. Instead, Brown will bring it out. Three screen action, so traditional from Jerusalem. Screen one way, then the other. Pass. Eventually, the target. Brown finds Feldy. The three is the buzzer sounds. Can't get it off. The rebound taken in by Simpson. Simpson now will bring it down. This quick screen from Wainwright. To the hands of Simpson. That switches on to him. Bramo, an excellent job keeping his man in front. Not to say, Bramo, great defense without fouling as then Tamir Black commits the personal. It'll be an end line possession. Excuse me, sideline possession. Gloria will bring it in, first touch for him. It's Murphy, reverses it around. Here comes Vistoria. Can't find any room. Kicks to the corner, shot clock low for Vector. Simpson will take the three, doesn't get it. Five for the rebound, who gets there? Controlled by Deleo, and then a quick three for Vector knocks it down. But that's what they do off the offensive rebound. Is Schwane right? Knocking down his first triple, first of the game for the German team. Over Brown, this is the screen. Now we get another one. Defense on Rasta Vector. Attempted pass to the inside is deflected by the right boot of Is Schwane right? And we see good work from Deleo. Chases it down. He was the first man to the ball. The defense was out of position. Bramo versus it to Feldin. Use the screen from Thomas. Thomas, short roll, puts it on the floor, drives it, gets the finish. Tough cover. Thomas, versatile, has that ability to put it on the floor. Be on the three point line. Vastoria uses the screen from Murphy. Vastoria picks it up, goes to Murphy. Now he's got a lot of room in a one-on-one, -on -one, but great defense from Brown. He knocks it away. Comes up grimacing, but Jerusalem with the easy score, heading in the opposite direction. That's all about the defense. Jacoba Brown switched onto the big man. Still took it away. Now he'll guard him again. Double team comes in time. The three is up. Simpson does it go. Fight for the rebound. Kalea comes up with it. The only man there. From uh, Rasta Vector. We see the hands from Jacoba Brown. Started off this fast break. Thomas once again with the finish. Sister Tamir Black. Jacoba Brown's gone out. He was a little shaken up. A new signing, 
Anton Holland comes in then for his first action. He said he's played a couple of games domestically for Jerusalem. First appearance in the Basel Champions League for him. Astoria attacking the baseline, slips, and he will go to Jerusalem. See the feet just went out from under him. Foul from Thomas, good defense. Hector come with their pressure. He hits a lot for them. Stars pressure up the floor, get a number of steals. As Black goes one way, now he'll start the offense. Gets into the lane, Black trying to finish over traffic, can't. We're heading in the opposite direction. Vallejo. Got a mismatch on the far side, Wainwright wants it. Guarded by Feldin, double team coming along the baseline. He finds Murphy, who gets the score. Good work from Kamadi Murphy with a difficult finish, but credit to the pass. It is Feldin. Thomas, he puts it on the floor, kicks it. Black wide open is what he can do. Comes up short this time, and it is followed and finished by Suleiman Boramo. Great work from him. Astoria absorbing the pressure from Holland. Gets it back again for these screens. Holland turns the corner, goes to the left hand, high up the backboard. Gets it to go. Difficult finish for Steve Astoria. Points of the night for him, back and forth game. Bravo. Hands it, Feldin has the lane. The foul is called away from the ball. Simpson trying to cover on the screen. The Simpson's going to go out. Here's Vestoria. It's a tough finish, he makes it look easy. Diagonal across the lane. Work from him, so Jordan Davis, first action for him. Started the season with Man Resta. Davis in the Basketball Champions League, and now from Spain to Germany. It's Feldin, low shot clock, has to make something happen, throws it to the corner, clock winding down, in no. Holland is the man who has it in his hands as the buzzer goes off, he didn't really seem to know. Breakdown. Jerusalem. Nine eight game here. That's the best. I'm trying to build on this lead. Pass. So Josh Young. Snuck into the game alongside Jordan Murphy. Didn't see that substitution as Dalskus Kumsius comes in, the big man for uh, Jerusalem. Here he is guarding Kamari Murphy. Murphy sets his feet. Knocked down the three. Kumsius out of position, so he doesn't want to be beyond that three point line. Interesting battle to watch as this end, you can see the advantage that Kupchus perhaps has, sealing his man under the ring, drawing the foul against Kamari Murphy. First foul on Murphy. Murphy will go out. Herkenhoff comes in. The man that can knock down the triple, that's for sure. Edge on the ball screen. Three way long. Jerusalem. Young going the other way. Gives it over to Vestoria. Kick out. Open three. That's Herkenhoff. He fails to hit. Well, Wainwright gets the rebound. Another one. And also misses a groan from the crowd. Vector, two good looks from three, don't miss many of those. As Holland will take it. He fails there. Fight for the offensive rebound and it's finished off. Oh, great work on the glass. Bramo it is with the score. 
expected a, a shootout. We haven't seen it so far. Another miss for three for Rastavekta. Jerusalem coming the other way. Black. Put in early, looking for Paramo, but a foul was called against Wainwright. So work on the boards. Paramo stays with it. It's the finish. Over Brown back in. That's good to see. Like he was suffering a minor aimant earlier. Off the screen. So why he passed him the ball there? He's expecting to roll to the basket. Feldin so comes in. And Tamir Black goes out. So time for Black to think over. Let's try a pre-game focus while he's on the bench. Still here then. Turns the corner. Pass is a loose one, and it'll be possession for Jerusalem. Nobody touched it on the way through. And a, uh, a ragged start from the hometown team here. To find that offensive rhythm, Evan Brown. To Feldy. Feldy to the far side. Brown. Fades, shoots it and it's fouled. Go against Jordan Davis. Like the call, Davis. Now you can see it there, though. Gets him on the forearm. A slight touch, but a touch nevertheless. So, Over Brown at the line. His only field goal. Now he's made his only free throw as well. Second gets the roll. Brown. Got off the screen. Young will back it out. There's the switch against Kupchus. Get it back to him. Five seconds now on the shot clock. Searching for some way of getting some rhythm to their offense right now. Somebody to step up. The sub will come in for Jerusalem. For the first action comes in the Lord Levy. Right. This is Paramo. Lob pass doesn't work. Comes to Jerusalem once again. Ibai puts it on the floor. Nearly turns it over. Does. Great effort to keep it alive. Here comes Davis hanging in the air. It's the side of the backboard. Well saved by Young. Making plays both ends of the floor. And he's rejected. He goes out of bounds. Oh. Good work from Josh Young. Defensively gets the steal. Keeps it alive. Makes a good pass. Can't hit the three, though. Davis. Astoria. High post look. Erkanov. Not his shot going yet now. Uh, Erkanov, 0 for 3. Now he loses it. Stays with Jerusalem. Just puts it on the floor, goes all the way. Turns into a charge. Right? Scared of standing in front of the big man. This is first foul. So at this point here, she'll be looking to give it up. Too deep in the lane. In the charge circle. Not sure of that. So, that's the vector. Have the ball. Up the screens. Young has it into his hands. Throws to the corner. Three is finally good. Good score from Pastoria. 
just offense the other way, and a foul is called against Davis. Foul against him. That's a great pass from Young. One's restored here in the corner. This way, just uh, the reach from Davis. No need. Easy call right in front of the official. So, second foul. Davis heads to the bench. Max Deleo's back in. And uh, Thomas replaces Lipschus. Jerusalem rotating with some mistakes right now. So if they can get some momentum. But they do have a one point lead here, trying to make it more than that. So they've felled in on the line. Two of two from him. Yeah, for the back door. Turns it over. Feldin ahead. Pass instead for uh, Rod Levi. It's turned over. Perhaps he wasn't the right option. It's a poor pass for him to try and pick up off his toes. Bit of a game of the new year right now. Two teams haven't got that momentum. For something offensively, Mastoria made his last one. Penetrate, kicks it to Deleo. Max Deleo looking, trying to find something, gets away into the lane, rejected nicely by Thomas, but it goes to Mastoria and he knocks down his second triple. Is that going to be the thing to ignite Arasta Vector? Back to back threes for Astoria at the end of this first quarter. Now he's guarding against Feldin. Feldin. Cobra Brown. Brown throws it to the corner and rewards Holland. Well, he picked the man he wanted to shoot it, didn't he? Now John Holland, who airballed his first attempt. That one. Captain of a streak for him. Moves the two point lead back to Jerusalem. Storia, three for three. Nope. Comes up short, but Wayne White gets the rebound and draws the foul against Levi. Wayne Wright isolated. Last few seconds of this first quarter. Puts it on the floor. Is it rejected by Bramo? What great one on one defense from him. Wayne Wright got his way into the lane, but Bramo kept him in front. Didn't foul, got the block. There was a foul called after that against Jacobin Brown. Fourth foul against Jerusalem. No more to give. Five seconds. To the corner is turned over. It's going to be 5.5. Taken from the end line, surely. Yeah, that is it. They'll reset the clock here. They'll take it from the end line. As the man who touched it was already out of bounds. Chance for Jerusalem to build up a little lead here. It's at two currently. Comes in for his three point threat. The weight in the corner. But Jerusalem going to turn it over. Herkenhoff finds Young for three. It's good. Well, what an end to the quarter for Astavecta. The three point stro stroke started to find its range. And a fortunate steal and finish has given them the lead at the end of the first quarter here 18 to 17. There's the numbers. Rasta Vector, 4 of 12, but all four of those makes coming from their last five attempts. Jerusalem just one of five from beyond the three point line, but they were getting it done from two point range throughout that first 10 minutes. Of just silly mistakes from Jerusalem, though. They had the transition turnover, and that one at the end of the first quarter had a two point lead, five seconds to try and get a shot. Instead, turned into a three for the hotel team.
Josh Young gives it a nod. First points of the game for him on that last second three point attempt. And what an end to the quarter it turned into for the hometown team, Rasta Vector. Talking about a five point lead, perhaps even more. Or, sorry, four point lead, perhaps more for Jerusalem. They had the ball, they had possession, five seconds to go, but then turned it over. Now we are tired. Higgins into the second quarter. It'll be possession for Jerusalem to start us off. And Jacoba Brown at the point. Sits it back from Thomas. He's now out there on offense. Is Ramo, Thomas, Blatt, Holland, and Jacoba Brown for Jerusalem. There's a lot of contact and a foul. will be called against Jerusalem. Offensive against Bramo. Trying to establish position. The vector's ball then. Started to get that three point shot going. That radar. To the low post. They kick it. Open look. Herkenham. Still. Can't get it to go, frustrating for him. Open look for Jacoba Brown, where was the defense? Over Brown, looking it down. Moves to seven points personal. Yup, backing it out. Versus it around Vestoria. Sitting on the floor, gets the lane. Oh, lovely little bounce pass. Is it a foul or a travel? Yeah, it's a travel before the foul. And half just quite comfortable receiving it. You see, Brown comes down. No one guarding him. Not so easy. Galeo flying past. over to Brown, Brown, trying to find some room, Black, about a three, finds Paramo on the roll, they've got advantage, shot by a poor pass though, five seconds, Holland's going to need to make something, Brown challenge three, the glass doesn't get the look, the defense from Rasta Vector, the shot clock was getting low, double team the ball, Vistoria. Young. Spacing for Vector here. They have to find an advantage though. Nothing at the moment. Young playing one on one. Against Thomas has a step. Goes off the glass. How did it roll out? Great look for Young. Get the score as Jerusalem cheaply give it back again. Bravo says that's his fault. How with the pass that just went straight out of bounds. Brown. Heads to the bench. Feldy back in. He is Feldy. Two points in the early stages for him. Astoria trying to find something. Bounce pass to the inside. But, uh, Murphy wanted the foul, doesn't get it. Double team against Black. Throws it up, what a take! And finish from Thomas. Well, Black was double teamed. You almost felt like he was trying to shoot, but it was a pinpoint pass to, to Sean Thomas under the ring. Great position. Three of three from the field. Murphy trying to respond. Bounces clear. Fresh 14. Oh, that's the vector then. Wait, right. Going right. Finishes. Some spacing. 
on Vector once again. All right, little space in the world to attack, get to the basket. Able to come and help. It's the threat. Three point shot from the German team as Feldin will be fouled on his way to the rig. <laughs> Murphy, uh, Wainwright. <laughs> a smile from him. There's a great play from him on this end of the floor. The other way, it's the blast from Black. Shot it towards Thomas. He's in the charge again. He's close. The question is, do he just slide to his right? Um, Nish Wainwright as Feldin is trying to get to the basket. Substitutions from both sides. This is happening. Ramo out for Jerusalem. They've gone big now with Kutcher's back in. He is. Another Simpson back out onto the floor for Josh Young. Good game, this. Reached halfway point of this second quarter. Just three points in it. Despite the offensive struggles of both teams. They've just started to get some momentum here. He's second. It is Jerusalem with seven to advantage in this second quarter. Right, Murphy. Murphy now to DeLeo. DeLeo. It's a double team. He has it taken away. Holland says he tapped it onto the leg of DeLeo. It's the referees to talk about it. They won't. Does it go fight for the rebound? Good position from Kamari Murphy just to get to the inside there. That's what won him the possession. That's what won him the foul. Kupchus uh, didn't kind of squeeze his man off. In fact, was it his man or was it somebody else's? And then it ended up going over the back. Pass to get it in. Dribbles from Wainwright, gets to a hook eventually, but too strong. Rebound taken in by Jerusalem. Holland goes to Black. They'll organise themselves now. High screen coming. Black. Finds that. And it is a three. Down by Thomas. Oh, to Sean Thomas. Excellent movement from him. Just picked his spot, cuts beyond the three-point line. Black finds him, and it is uh, a quiet Rasta Dome here because the, that three opens up a seven-point advantage now. 27 to 20, a 10-2 start to the second quarter for Jerusalem. Astoria at the point. 
Oh, well, Vector get themselves back into this game. We've got Jordan Davis, his instant offense. They're on the floor now. Here he is. Davis puts it on the floor, gets it the lane. And we'll get two shots to come. Now Jordan Davis is a man who knows to put points on the board. Trajan from Northern Colorado University. Big Sky Player of the Year, 2019. From Las Vegas, though he did participate 2017 under 20 European Championships for Azerbaijan. It's, uh, it's huge numbers in the B Division Championships that played in Oradea in Romania. Couldn't help the uh, Azerbaijani team out of the group stages. Particular occasion, though. As I said, a man earlier, man started the year with. Manaressa now in Germany. It's his first points of the game. Holland stops, goes, scores. Well, looked like he'd run into a brick wall. John Holland, defenders in front of him, but opened up and he gets the finish. Poor pass. Looking for Vastoria. Here comes Feldin. They've got numbers. Jerusalem. Feldin dances in, lays it up. Two more. What a second quarter run this is. For Jerusalem, they've opened it up to a nine-point lead now. Just 22 points for Asta Vector. Davis, can he get going? Too strong. Jerusalem nearly off to the races once again. Black, Thomas, Thomas thinks about it. Back to Black. And he'll knock it down, three more. Where is this Rasta Vector defense? It has been a staple of you know, their strong start in the Basketball Champions League. Nowhere to be seen, but if you're turning it over, hard to get stops, hard to bring that pressure. And if you're not getting the ball to be taken out of bounds, there's Feldin score. And then the next play kind of sums it up. Thomas thought about the three. He was wide open, passed it up. And uh, even though Thomas was open, he found a wide open Tamir Black as well. Penetration, Davis gets the score, and he'll go to the line as well. Took a heavy fall, Jordan Davis seems to be okay. Now they come out of the timeout. They've gone to Davis, haven't they, a few times in this period where they've been struggling. Second time he's earned himself a trip to the line. Davis, four points in a hurry now, picked up those two early fouls. So on, go to the bench. So that one is good. Here is the pressure that I talked about. They're able to score. It's a lot easier to pick up up the floor, bring this pressure. That helps in the half court defense. Less time for Jerusalem to get a good clean look. And they find Holland. Recovery was good from Wainwright, but it wasn't enough to stop Holland. A fading shot from him. It is 36 to 25. Small Davis penetration finds Vestoria this time. 
Well, and who kind of got going in that first quarter. This is this, an 11 point lead plus possession for Jerusalem. Brown draws three people, finds Feldin. That's bad news if you are Asta Vector. Brown gets to the lane, three people went to him. You cannot leave James Feldin open. We talked about you know, the first game between these two teams. Feldin had uh, six threes, I believe. Over Brown had five. It's Davis carrying Rasta Vector on his back right now. Gets another score. But the other way immediately is Thomas with the score. For Asta Vector, there's Deleo and Young set to come back into the game. Here is Davis. Vestoria, Vestoria. Now to the corner, quick three, doesn't go. Simpson, not seen anything of him since that opening score. Brown now. Skips to the corner, Holland along the baseline. Thomas glides in, two more. Oh. Thomas done a bit of everything right now, hasn't he? Deshaun Thomas, 13 points for him, six of six from the field. Made the two, made the three, made everything. Davis is three, misses everything. Possession for Jerusalem, and so all of a sudden, I mean, it's, been, it's a 16-point game, 26 to nine in the second quarter. How this game has just turned on its head. Timeout make any difference to the fortunes of Rasta Vector. Very poor second quarter so far from them. And they recover in this final two minutes. Dean turns the corner, lays it up. He is fired up. And now the timeout, that is not the response you're looking for if you are Coach Pedro Gales. Dean moves to 11. Facing that time from Rasta Vector, they're going to be double teamed on the low block. Herkunov trying to find somebody, finds Davis, slides it, and he'll get the score. Jordan Davis is pretty much the offense for Rasta Vector in this second quarter. He's got nine points, they've got 11. Foul is called against Herkunov. Sorry, it was Max DeLeo with the foul. That's the drive from Davis. Bramo, it's for Feldin. Feldin, back to Bramo. Looking the wrong way, he had an open man in the corner, but finds Black instead, he comes up short. Josh Young. 
Thank you, Sip. Left them off. Hands it over, trying to hand it over to Max DeLeo. Thomas pushing flat. That's Thomas open. No hurry for Jerusalem. Get into the hands of Feldin. Feldin back to Black. That finds Suleiman. Suleiman Bravo. A little too strong on his half hook. Young loses his man. Switch from Thomas. Defensive rebound is going to go to a turnover. Attempted kick out from Wainwright looking for Davis and Master Vector. Not a happy team right now. You can see the frustration in the body language from them. Holland is coming back in for Jerusalem. And uh, Chekis asked the vector as well. So I'll have a timeout, try and see who's out there on the floor on this final 30 odd seconds. But what's the second quarter for the visitors? I said Apple Jerusalem have had their struggles on the road. They've uh, lost four of their last five away games in the Basketball Champions League. And right now, they are looking very strong indeed. We need good entry, they pass to give, we do the same thing as we need. We need safe entry, I want to involve the ball. It's the first game if we have. John, you go through. Go through. If you really want the way, tell me you take it and you come here and try to get the ball. So both of them, both of them close on you and you go get James safety and you say. Sideline possession, Flat will bring it in. It's on defense for Rasta Vector. Kind of a little curveball into the plans. Feldin off the screen, moves it on. Blatt's going to be open. Defense trying to recover. Black should have shot it, gives it to Brown. He has to force it up. Body's flying. Good switching of defenses there for Rasta Vector. It works. Can they now get this final score? Young holding it as the clock gets to five. Young throws it over to Davis. Davis pulls up. Doesn't go. And that will end the first quarter. Well, sorry, the first half, and it has been all about the second quarter return for Jerusalem as they have opened up a 16-point lead here. It is Rasta Vector 29, Apple Jerusalem 45. The statistics, Rasta Vector, four for 18 for three. This is a team who shoots 41% from beyond the three-point line. Jerusalem, on the other hand, shooting extremely well indeed. And even with 12 offensive rebounds, Rasta Vector still only have 29 points. Jordan Davis, nine points for him in the second quarter. The team only had 11. And it's on the other side, Jerusalem. Thomas, Feldin, Holland, Jacobin Brown, all having strong games for the Israeli team. And that is why they have opened up this sizable lead at the half. Well, real Christmas hangover for the German team right now. They need to find some sort of uh, changes in this halftime break. Right now, Jerusalem looking very comfortable indeed. They've taken control of this game in the second quarter. Their offense really did find its rhythm beautifully. And uh, there is a lot of work to do for Rasta Vector. Well, I'll leave you with some of the highlights from that first 20 minutes. A lot of offense from Jerusalem.
They lead the way here, 45 to 29. They'll be back in about 10 minutes for second half action. Group B here from the Rastodo in Germany. by Johnson. Chris Martin goes the other way, lobs it up. Stone it is with the dunk.
Tyler Stone with the finish. Some better looks ahead. Five three pointers now in the game as Cousins pulls up from the mid range. Doesn't get to Sean Thomas. Goes in and cleans up with the throwdown. Shabadini, watch out. Just to underline the point. But that letting his Shimadini's hook for a while. This is the first, and they need to foul. They get it back for the three. Oh, it's good. The three is good. Marco Filippoli. That's why he was in the game. Zoltan Paul to make the two. Filippoli has made the three. Shots up by McFadden short. And there's bodies flying everywhere. Ricky Lino ahead. Sokolowski behind the back for the throwdown. Still right. No good. Ball's loose. They get it back. Still. And Golas will win it. That's extraordinary. That is incredible.
welcome back to half time here. Yeah, that's the dome. Vector Germany. Yeah, superb second quarter for the visitors. Seen at uh, the Vector trail here at the half. We are down 29 to 45. That is why those strong words being had there. Team. Disappointing second 10 minutes for them. Jerusalem superb as they took the second quarter. 28 to 11. Back of some strong individual performances. Team basketball from the Israeli team. This is one of three games in Group B currently taking place. So, uh, also, we'll see Burgos beating Van Derma. Way through the second quarter, 35 to 26, and uh, Roklovec defeating Powell about the same sort of stage. Three games in Group B tonight, all pretty close affairs. It was about the same point that our game opened into this lead. And Jerusalem really taking control after a pretty strong first quarter. Rasta Vector coming to this one, the best three point shooting team in the Basketball Champions League. They struggled early, and they started to find some rhythm, led by Steve Pastoria, who looked like he had got them on track from beyond the three-point line. Teammate two. And sort of on south for Master Vector, as they shoot just, shot just four of 18 in that first uh, 20 minutes. Jerusalem 5 of 12. But a factor in as well. Just 29% shooting for Aston Vector, 29 points for them in the first half. That was even though they had 12 offensive rebounds. But if it hadn't been for those offensive rebounds, how would the score now be? First possession of the second half goes to Rasta Vector. They're out there with Magdaleo, Kamari Murphy, Simpson, Pastoria, and Wainwright. It's Pastoria along the baseline. I find the open man. All his kicks so that will stay for the Rasta Vector trying to get the first score of the second half. Find Murphy. Murphy. Over to Deleo. Deleo has the lob. Murphy finishes it off. Excellent work on that occasion. As Murphy slips to the screen. Deleo had the step. Now the pressure comes. They try to track Jerusalem. A good passing team, though. As Holland finds the open man in Bramo, he gets the score. So Jerusalem with Blatt, Abramo, Feldin, Holland, and Deshaun Thomas out there. To start the second half. Wainwright, added by Bramo, he's on the floor. And Simpson in the corner, and he'll knock down the three. Well, the offense looking smoother for Rasta Vector here in this first minute of the third quarter. Five points already from them, and they're going to come with pressure. Holland picks it up, finds Bramo, he goes into the backcourt. This is more traditional from what we've seen from Rasta Vector in the Basketball Champions League regular season, but the problem is that is just a next level play from John Holland. Ten points for Holland then. It's down the three. Same play. Master Vector will respond with Murphy's three. Doesn't go. But Galeo takes it away, finds Simpson. He's pretty short. Possession back from Jerusalem. A couple of opportunities for Rasta Vector there. Feldin off the screen. It's Holland in the corner. Leads it to Brahma. Now Feldin once more to Holland. The three. Thomas on the offensive rebound, puts it home, and Tashaun Thomas still has a miss from the field. Seven of seven for him, 15 points personal. Such an efficient game. Now, Bravo gets it.
drive from Pastoria. And he lays it up. Black handling. Beats the pressure. Gets between two, flips it up. What a pass from Black. And Bramo with the finish. Oh, Black, the no look. Looked like he was out of control. It's the second time Black's so good at disguising. Oh, feel like he's uh, about to turn it over, but always in control. Wainwright's pass, then moved on to DeLeo. His three is good. That's tough, finding the range from three, but to try and slow down the Jerusalem offense as well. Black handling it. Finds the roll, Thomas. Oh, look at the ball movement for Jerusalem. Feldin, clean look, can't get it. Astoria grabs it in as Lil. Tacked under the basket between Bramo and DeLeo. Oh, being held. Just kind of pushed off. Bramo felt his arm was being locked. Foul called against him. The referee just saw him pushing off his third possession for Alasta Vector. Over Brown, uh, his first action of the second half. Plays Bramo after he picks up his third. Turn it over. Oh, lovely back door and the finish from Simpson. No, he's a high flyer, Simpson, but he got up there. Again, another play that sometimes sparks life into a team. Fight at one end, still. Rap, and another offensive foul. There's two offensive fouls and a dunk for Rasta Vector. They're the energy type of players. They're the ones that can get you going. Look at this. Backdoor cut up and it finishes over the seven foot frame. Lewandowski Skupcius. All uh, 215, seven foot one. Oh, Skupcius couldn't do anything about that. To get in the corner this time, he lifts. Let's Wainwright go one on one. Cook just gets the block. Astoria is fouled. <laughs> 13 here. Foul against Jacoba Brown. Right. Murphy, back to cut from Astoria as well, guarded. Murphy goes on his own, and he will draw the foul. Chipping away at this lead, a strong start to the second half. Oh, that's the vector. So already missed the fouls against Bravo. Now Cook's just picking him up as well. Much more of a, a front line from Hamburg, Jerusalem. They do have Zalmanson who could come in. We're going to go instead with Nimrod Levi into the small lineup. So Thomas and Levi have to play in the front four. They have a lot of size. Is this the opportunity for Kamari Murphy and Ish Wainwright to take over? Now for Rasta Vector. They can start to get going. Jerusalem will have to respond. Try and crowd him out. Could open up that 40 point shot. We know so often is the lifeblood as the free throw is missed, but already we see now their centers on the floor. Jerusalem giving up yet another offensive rebound. Murphy takes it. Astoria stops, fades, could work, it's way short in the end. 
shot isn't as good as the move, unfortunately. Brown, that's the corner. Open three, Holland doesn't get it to go. Tipped out. Last off uh, James Feldy. So it's possession for Rastavecta. Stordia made the point. Sit down. To Wayne Wright. Slow for Master Vector here. Mastori's got to make something happen. It's the open look for Deleo, and he knocks it down. The play for Vastoria. The play hadn't really worked for them. It's all about him creating the play. Open Brown. And tightly. It's under control. Control Brown. Nobody's pass. Deflected. Holland fouled. <laughs> Salmonson, he may be the sub that comes in one traditional five man for Jerusalem. This is a guy who's played national team for Israel the last 18 months. That will bring it in. Down in some screens. It's once more. Trying to find ground. Some space, Brown gets to the foul line and knocks it down. Picks his spot so well, Jacoba Brown. Line for him. What a basket for Jerusalem as Vestordia responds immediately, slicing in. Point game again. Foul here. Good work, shot clock getting a little lower. Over Brown's got 10 seconds, finds Blatt for three. Blatt buries it. Well, the shot clock was getting low. Blatt just quick release. Second three for him, six points. He's trading baskets right now, Simpson. He has the Bastordia. Lobs it over the top. Wainwright is on the line. It doesn't matter. Comes up with nothing. Blatt made one. This one doesn't go for him. First man to the rebound is Astoria. Take it three and knocks it down. A big three. Oh, Rasta Vector. They made it a single digit game now. The response from Nimrod. Levi doesn't go. Offensive rebound and the basket. Well, what a big play. And Levi missed the three. Let's see, three at the other end from Rastavecta. Look at this. Missed the three. Offensive rebound. Put back. It's that man Thomas once again, isn't it? Sean Thomas. 17 points, five rebounds, eight of eight, as you saw from the field. and Davis are going to come in in the backcourt for Asta Vector. Some momentum. This has killed it a little. Thomas, a rare miss for him. Let's miss it again. Three. This is bad. It's an immediately back to Asta Vector. Takes on both sides. Levi with the travel. Good work from the official. Simpson goes out. Oppenhoff comes in. So 
own defense from Jerusalem. Wainwright catches it, squares up, guarded by Brown. Trying to shoot over the top of him. Doesn't get it to go. They haven't been able to take advantage of their size right now. Brown back again. That's a good job to stop him. I just feel like Brown's intentionally just using time off his clock. Levi finds Feldin. Feldin on the baseline. Hits it. Black for three. Doesn't get it. They did use a full 24. Davis brings it down. Reverse it around through Herkenhardt. Claudia puts it on the floor, finds Davis, catch and shoot, buries it. Davis gets the double figures. Good play from Vestoria to find him. Within eight. Feldin will try to respond. Khan. 90 or 80 seconds now left. It's an important 80 seconds as Davis pulls up and buries the three. Back-to-back -back threes for Jordan Davis. The offensive spark plug, and he has got Rasta Vector right back into this game. It is a five-point game here, 27 to 16 in this third quarter. Vastoria with the drive and kick to find him on the first. And then Jordan Davis in transition, knocks down another one, forcing Jerusalem into the timeout. Again, this is turning into that five-point lead for Jerusalem. You saw the quarter-by-quarter quarter scores. An even game in the first, just a one-point lead for Rasta Vector. Domination from Jerusalem, quarter number two. And now Rasta Vector have done their form of domination in this third to make it a five-point game. Maldine to Thomas, gets it back again. Rolling. Thomas will put it on the floor. Thomas shovel pass, trying to find Salmonson. Doesn't get there. Five seconds on the clock. Brown will bring it in. Miss again from Brown. Feldin for three. Doesn't get it. Made his skies for the rebound. Young holding and waiting. Denied to Wainwright, that's where they wanted to go. So Herkenhoff will come screen. Switch. Davis will have the step though, stops. Comes up short. Look from Davis, he's got the hot hand. Able to hit on that occasion. And holding. Try and use some of this clock. We'll go back to Rastavec to, to end this third quarter though. Brown. Fouls to give for Rasta Vector. They use one. It goes to Zalmanson. He reverses and lays it up. Perhaps they should have pushed the other way. One extra dribble. And Young can't get it to go. So an important score at the end of the third quarter for Hamwell Jerusalem. That is not the correct score. It is Rasta Vector 56. Hapoel Jerusalem 63 after the score at the end of that third quarter from Zalmanson. There is the uh, 
the confirmation of the 63 to 56 scoreline. Jerusalem recovered. They scored 18 themselves, but you consider they gave up 27 points in that quarter, 29 in the whole of the first half. You can see the difference that offense got going for Arasta Vector in the third quarter. Set to get underway then, and it's been set up for a good one. Seven point lead. Jerusalem is an early foul call against the rest of Hector, but the German team, another quarter like the one they just had, would be enough to see them win. Well, Jerusalem just kind of biding some time here. Their front line foul trouble. Bravo and Duxia still to come back in. Holland fouled two quick ones against Rasta Vector. Yeah, the travel just skipped both feet. Cool. He doesn't like it, but I think if he watches this back, it is the right one. He's jumped. There you go. He'll jump to the side. Or Brown. Wayne Wright to Young. Young. Finds the corner man. Astoria dancing a baseline. He's fouled. Davis looking for something. Young, yeah. I'll find any room. Shot clock getting low. Have to throw it up here at the end of the clock. Wainwright forces it up and he gets it to go. Oh, it's not pretty on that offense, that's for sure, but it goes anyway. Brown has the step, gets into the lane. Kupchers kicks it out. Holland for three. It's good. Well, he's come up with some big shots, hasn't he, Holland? Been there when they need him. 13 for John Holland. Basketball Champions League debut for Hapoel Jerusalem. Young finds Herkenov. He hasn't got going yet. Herkenov has the step, dunks it home. Three point shot hasn't been falling for him. Recognised the opportunity to get all the way to the ring. And a steal and finish from Davis. It's a four point game. Close as they've been in a long time here. Rasta Vector turning up the heat. Feldin passes ahead. Uh, Tomlinson and Thomas with the score. And 
Sid Holland stepped up with some big baskets, but that man as well. That. Thomas, nine of nine from the field. Astoria nearly loses it. Young has the step, Young. That's a rejected by Thomas. Here comes Jerusalem, Holland. He won't be caught, surely. He is, but it's a foul. Astoria thinks he got it clean. Holland's ahead of everyone. Astoria did a great job just to get a piece of the ball. Second foul against him. You know, he may have saved the point, perhaps two, depending on how Holland does at the line here. Merkenhoff goes out as Suleiman Pramo comes in for Jerusalem as well. Murphy taking in for Arasta Vector. First is good for Holland. Save a point, Steve Astoria with the foul because Holland comes up short on the second. Seven point eight. Wayne Wright turning, looking. Astoria all about the three. Wayne Wright has step, pushes his man off and tips over the rebound. Strong drive from Wayne Wright. The body's flying. Is the only man there for the offensive rebound. Brown. Stands a lot here, took over Brown. There's two people. It's Holland on the pull up. Too strong. Rebound taken in by Kamari Murphy. Nine point game as Young will bring it down. Wainwright has the open man, but the pass is deflected. Murphy was wide open under the basket the other way. The finish from Thomas has summed up the game, hasn't it? That's the Vector had the chance, but they couldn't take it. Thomas, 10 of 10, perfect from the field on the night. 21 points. Vestoria tries to respond from three, doesn't. Great work from Murphy, finds Vestoria for the finish. So, uh, Defensive effort right now from Hamwell Jerusalem. The vector getting into the lane, getting to the basket at will. Relying on their offense. As Holland will take it. Doesn't go. Here comes Jordan Davis. Five point game. Davis spins. Runs into a wall. And misses. Bramo foul. And we'll earn them from the line. Pass and finish from Astoria. Thomas's lob. What a game. More to Sean Thomas. 21 points, five rebounds, two assists. Most first from the line is good. Makes the second as well. Side trying to find some, someone. Astoria take the hand off cleanly and then has it tipped from behind. Right, five on the clock. Do they know Vestoria has got to go? Put it away in time. There's a four second violation. Four. 
recognition from Rasta Vector there. They had a low shot clock. They had it at the side, no urgent sideline, no urgency for them. As they trail by seven. Deep, the ball in his hands. Over to Bravo. Now back to Feldy. Good three does it go. Five for the rebound. It's going to be a foul on Rasta Vector. Bravo. Excellent job to make himself a nuisance on the offensive glass. Second, though, Bravo. Still alive for Rasta Vector here. It's a foul. He's got it. Cheap foul to give up. Just the second against Jerusalem, though, so no real problems. Timeout will be called by Rasta Vector. Try and regain some composure. They've worked hard to get themselves back into this one. But Hanbo Jerusalem just opened up their lead once more. Let's listen and see what Rasta Vector is going to try and do. Possession, Pastoria brings it in. Young. Davis just gets there. Five seconds on the clock. Davis can make his own, and he has to. Gets the roll. Oh, the shot clock winding down. He's the one guy from Rasta Vector. You'd be happy with the ball in his hands. Davis can make his own offense from nothing. He's done it again here. He has 19 on the game. It's a six-point lead for Jerusalem. Almost looking to slip. Screens. Black picks it up. Finds Bramo. Bramo. He's up short on his little hook. The step. Wainwright kicks it out. That's Claudia. Should have taken the three. Advantage lost now. They're going to have to make it happen again. Good digits on the shot clock. Vastoria finds Wainwright. He's well guarded by Holland. Again, low clock. Wainwright's three doesn't go. Five for the rebound. Who wins it? It's Tamir Black. Right place at the right time. On the Israeli guard. Backs it out. Ramo on the little roll. His kick out. Holland back to Black. Extra pass. Back into the hands of Black. In and out. Both teams just can't get these crucial shots to drop. 
Shots that would seal the game surely for Jerusalem. Shots that could get Arasta Vector back into this one. Davis. Tax. Can't get it to go. And the rebound doesn't go for Kamari Murphy either. And Murphy. Gets the offensive rebound against a smaller man. Able to get the score. it up right to Davis again he's got five on the clock Davis dances in once more he gets himself a good look and he is fouled or is the foul on the re rebound it might be drawn by Wayne right so it'll be end line possession rather than uh, shooting that from yeah good work from Jordan Davis and as Bramo tried to challenge the shot just ran into Wainwright, who was stood under the basket. So fourth foul on Suman Bramo. In line possession. Water has to make sure still they're trying to find this important score. Jumper is good for Vastoria. He makes it a two-point game. We'll hit three minutes left in this game on this possession. Four points separate these two teams. Being fouled. Fouls against Rasta Vector. Murphy walks immediately to the bench. The personal. He will leave the game. Five points, four rebounds for him. He goes out. To come. Makes the first 12 on the game for him. Gotta make noise. Doesn't disrupt the third in, no. Deleo at the point. Switching for Jerusalem. Astoria. Find Wayne Wright. It goes out of bounds. We'll stay with the rest of Hector. And off to Cobra Brown. Into five seconds. Or the rest of Hector. They're going to go to Lloyd McDavis here, surely. Of Astoria. Jumper doesn't go. Over Brown brings in the rebound. Feldin can eat more time off the clock. This is where the you know this backcourt of Jerusalem is so good. Feldin and Jacob and Brown. Also Tamir Black, of course. It's Feldin, he's gonna turn it over though. Two on one. DeLeo goes all the way, lays it up. Well, just as uh, singing the praises of Jerusalem's backcourt, they make a mistake. It's a four-point game. Double digits now for Dadeo. Aldine holding once more, using more clock. Two minutes left. Brown off the screen. Skips it. Bramo for three. Doesn't get it. Five for the rebound. Thomas comes up with it. He's fouled. But he can't get the score. Well, offensive rebounds have been so crucial in this game. They've been the, the lifeblood for Asta Vector with 20, that's the sixth of the game for oh, Jerusalem. Well, what a crucial one it could choose to turn into. Holland's going to come back in. And replaces Tamir Blatt for oh, Jerusalem. That's the vector talking it over on the sideline. Yes. Thomas is at the line, 21 points on the game. He hasn't missed from the field. He has missed a free throw, but not on that occasion. One of 
two on the game. Thomas makes the second. 23 points personal. This makes it six once again. Astoria. Leos comes to screen from him. Now they're going to screen for Simpson. He can't be available though. Davis along the baseline. Waved away. And a travel. Mr. Vector wanted to score and a foul. Travel is called though. Black will come back in for offense. Momo goes out. More time ticks off the clock. Brown draws the double, throws ahead. Blair able to put it on the floor for Jerusalem here. Holland beats the pressure, finds Black, they'll pull it out again. Clock to six now. Brown goes one on one. Beats his man, flips it up and gets the score. Will that be enough to seal the game? The go for Brown with the important basket. Timeout called. Master Vector will advance it here. That's a great move from Jacoba Brown. Shot clock winding down. Master Vector will advance the ball. Have something coming out of the timeout, ideally for a quick three or a score. Quarters. So another quarter like the third, and Rafter Vector had a chance. They would have won this game, but it's a recovery from Abuja, Jerusalem. See if they can get a steal, potentially a foul. Davis will be in the entry man. Now we've got to off the screen. Nothing really available. Good defense from Jerusalem. They skip it. Now to Young trying to find something. They will find the opening and get a score at the ring. They're going to have to bring the pressure. Over Brown, straight at the double team, sees an opening to pass ahead, We're under a minute left now, six point lead, Brown holding on waiting, using this clock once more, as it gets to five, oh beautiful pass, Thomas the extra pass, Holland hesitated, misses, but the offensive rebound tipped by Thomas into the hands of Feldin, oh, a foul is called. Looks like there's a foul against Feldin. From the arm, didn't he? Caught the face of Simpson. I don't think there was much in it. A six point game. A chance if they can hit a three here. They've called the timeout. Rasta Vector that advanced the ball. This is the opportunity. go fast again see if they can get a score the same way as last time they would love a three they could hit a three here because it is you know two threes needed six point game still Hey, 
Astoria will bring it in this time. Change things around. Davis has a to cut. Switch Davis now. He's off the screen. Penetrates. Takes the two. Doesn't get it. Fight for the rebound. And it goes to the hands of Jacoba Brown. Brown crosses the half. Now he'll surely just bring it back out. He gives it to Holland. Holland. Back to Brown. Brown absorbing the pressure. Shot clock to 10. Holland hesitates, finds the lane, attacks, and gets the score plus the foul. Simpson tried to take the charge, didn't quite get there in time. Jerusalem down the stretch. Made these plays. A couple of really good defensive possessions for them. the line it's a eight-point game surely too much now for Asta Vector to try and pull back Holland's bonus is good caps off an excellent night for him offensively Vector will bring it down Davis skips it out to Simpson still no room for Simpson to get away the three Young will take it Misses everything as the buzzer sounds. An excellent road victory for Hapoel Jerusalem then. They will take this one here tonight. It is Rasta Vector 74, Hapoel Jerusalem 83. All about the second quarter performance from the Israeli team. They opened up a sizable lead thanks to a, a, you know, an excellent second 10 minutes. And Rasta Vector always playing catch up from that point forward. They got themselves back in the game in the third, but didn't have the energy to keep that momentum in the final period. Highly entertaining game here back in the Basketball Champions League. The first game of 2020 for these two has ended with a victory for Hapwell Bank. They have Jerusalem. Important road victory for a team which has struggled on the road. Jerusalem, Master Vector down again. Recent form frustrating in this competition as they will lose their third game in the last four. No smiles for Hapua Jerusalem, and rightly so. It was an excellent performance from them. Did what they needed to for the percentages. 22 of 26 for Hapua Jerusalem. 85%. Incredible shooting from two-point range. Never seen anything like that. And even with 20 offensive rebounds for Asta Vector. Couldn't take victory here tonight. Davis, a uh, big cameo, 19 points for him. Astoria 16, DeLeo 11, but Jer for Jerusalem, Thomas, 10 of 10 from the field, led the way, 23 points. An MVP-like performance from him, you know, just quietly did his business uh, enough to give his team the win. So, Hapoel Jerusalem now will move to seven wins and three losses. They will wait to see whether I can continue their strong Champions League. They play tomorrow night, Ike against Antwerp. Uh, they go down, you can see them tie Jerusalem for identical records. For Rastavector, they will drop to five and five now. They will uh, wait to see how Anvil and uh, Burgos did in their games that are currently underway um, to see where they will end up in the standings going into game day 11. An entertaining game comes to an end here for us tonight. 2020 has started brightly for Jerusalem as they take this one here tonight. They will 
record the victory. It is 74 to 83 for Jerusalem on the road over Rasta Vector. Ich habe beim Ziel gesagt, wir wollen in der Wurst. 